Hello everyone! Today we're gonna take a look at a razor that I already reviewed, but this time with a new plate. This is the Game Changer 0.84 with the open cone plate that Razor Rock is offering. The jaws. You can see here big teeth, big gap in between them. A lot of you uh, had great questions and suggestions about razor comparison and razor reviews. And Sean, one of you in the comments, Sean has also a YouTube channel. Uh, I'll leave a link below so you can check it out. He asked me about open comb razors. So if you check Sean's channel, you'll see that he's mainly shaving with straight razors. I was following his content for a little while. His technique is amazing, so make sure to check it out. He was curious to learn more about open comb razors. I don't have a lot of experience with open comb razors, but I'll share my thoughts about it and also share some general knowledge, I guess, that it's all over the internet. So far, for the open comb razors, you know that I shaved on the channel a few times with the Razor Rock Slock. Most open comb razors, they're associated with more aggressive or more efficient razors, uh, because most of them have uh, that approach that the razor will have an obstructed access to the whiskers, and they, they will cut your beard without having the base plate touching um, your whiskers before that. This one is an exception though, as you can see the blade gap is very small, the teeth are quite small, but also uh, another important thing about open comb razors is that they usually glide kind of like smoother on your skin, because again more lather and water can go in between these teeth and they slide very very smoothly. And this one is a champion, because it's a double open comb over here. Okay, let's talk more about this razor uh, here that we have. Uh, the weight of the Razor Rock uh, Game Changer with this base plate or the solid one doesn't really matter. It's about 80 grams depending on which uh, handle you're gonna choose. The blade gap, as the name says, is 0.84 millimeters. And here we have the jaws uh, plate here. Look at these teeth. They're quite scary looking, right? Uh, and the price in US dollars is about 55 US dollars and in Canadian dollars, if I remember correctly, is uh, 75 Canadian dollars. So, when it comes to the open comb, as I mentioned, uh, here I have the regular base plate uh, of this razor. You can see, uh, I'll just try to illustrate what I mean that open comb generally provides unobstructed access. If I just align my base plate over here, you can see how these gaps are those openings where when I load the razor blade over here, this will have easy access close to the skin. It will provide nice and efficient shape. That's really the strength of this razor and most open combs uh, as well. Um, and I shaved a couple of times with this one and that's a very efficient, smooth, and surprisingly for me, very enjoyable to use. Uh, I say surprisingly because in my mind, based on what I was reading and what I was discussing, I always thought that open comb are not gonna be for me. Uh, I also tried the legendary uh, Mula R41, which is not a traditional open comb. I, per I would personally say that it's kind of like a, a plate with big scallop shape that resembles open comb, but it's not with uh, big openings as this one over here. Yes, it's efficient, uh, it's fairly smooth shaver, but for me it was not too enjoyable and I thought that this won't be the case um, with this one, but uh, it turned out that this is quite good. This is the same uh, base plate, but with a solid bar, not with the open comb teeth. As the razor glides and you align it, the first thing touching your skin and your whiskers is the full plate over here. And that is pushing them away, pressing them or whatever. So that contributes probably to the feeling that when you use open comb, you feel that the shave is closer and that you get better results. All right, I hope that this helps because uh, Sean was asking uh, about open combs. So Sean, I hope that you're watching. Uh, this was my kind of like attempt to explain why probably most people feel that first these razors for the most part are smoother 
And second, why are they probably more efficient? And I have uh, three days of growth, perfect razor for, for that. I'll prepare my face and put some lather. For the soap, before I prepare my face, I'll just mention. Today I'm gonna use Kensei. I have the full set over here, a really pleasant set. I have the ladder already prepared in my spot prints bowl and I use my outer brush with the G5C synthetic knot. I want to work this uh, knot a bit as it's a synthetic but it requires breaking and I want to match it and make it as soft as my other G5C knot. Very pleasant smell on the soap. If you haven't checked my review I'll leave a link somewhere in the corners. Very nice set by gentleman's knot. I'm gonna load the blade while the ladder stays on my face. We have the blade ready to go. You can see the teeth alignment and the access points between the gaps. It's very clear why, why this will be efficient. So Razor Rock, they have regular open comb and jaws uh, open comb. I think that with the jaws, it's just bigger gaps, more efficiency, more kind of like blade access and closer access to towards the skin. I love the Gillette Nasset. Um, it's second or third use this one and let's go with the green. As you can see, it's going very smoothly, no effort. Surprisingly, I feel that For the game changer, I like the open comb better than the regular solid bar plate. And as I mentioned, I never thought that I like open combs as much as I do. Mainly this one, because I don't, I didn't try a lot of them. Uh, and I got this one because the seller, I, I bought the Game Changer second hand, the seller just included the base plate with the razor, otherwise I was not going to have this one for sure. One thing that is a bit tricky for me with this razor and the open comb teeth is the detailing. It's quite easy to uh, overdo it and to catch uh, some long hairs, even when you don't intend with the teeth. But yeah, that's that's for me. <laughs> I get I need to use it a bit more and get used to it. The efficiency is no joke. Yeah, even with the first pass with the grain, three days of growth, uh, it's very, very smooth already. Uh, yeah, no, no other razor that I tried can compete with the efficiency of this one. And also, in my opinion, it's not threatening. So the teeth, they look scary, but similar to the slock, the slock may look scary. We have two rows of combs, they look intimidating. This is very mild and smooth, easy to use razor that I would recommend for beginners to try. Mm, and yeah, this one, the, the Jaws 0.84 with the Game Changer. Yeah, it's not beginner friendly, but it's easy to use. 
beginners they should just get some practice with the solid bar because the solid bar gives you a little bit more security uh, at first when you try to use it but yeah don't be intimidated and as i mentioned sean he's shaving with straight razors i don't think that he'll have any problem with this you just have to get a quick feel of the razor and he will enjoy probably more than a solid bar if he haven't tried any uh, big open comb like this one. Yeah, Sean, I hope that you're watching. Again, I'm mentioning that. Hopefully this video is useful. Let me know in the comments if you find my babbling and explanation uh, good. Do you have any other questions? And the design of the head with this open comb, you would expect significant blade feel. Yes, there is a little bit of blade feel, but I would not say that it's too much. And just going across the grain with this one, we are entering BBS territory. Yeah, there are some pickups here and there left. But honestly, that efficiency is crazy. I was discussing with a few friends the reviews of this one and I was like, oh, people are saying that they switch from R41 to this one because it's more efficient and smoother. And I share the same uh, feeling after trying both razors. even on my problematic spots where the hair is growing in multiple directions just cross the grain is taking care of 95 percentage of everything without really too much buffing and repetition very surprising as a person who was never interested in open comb razors And the main takeaway from that statement is just give it a chance. If it's something that you didn't consider before, just try it. Maybe you'll surprise yourself and you may find a new favorite product. very efficient and the game changer is known of the razor being easy to use and to find the right angle yeah that's the case it stays here with the open comb you get a lot of efficiency but the angle is still very easy to find wow amazing almost bbs I, I don't think that any other razor can achieve that for like three days, even like two and a half days of growth for me with two passes to be that efficient. It's very enjoyable. Having more lather, of course, gentlemen's not is great performing soap. You can add a lot of water and work it for a long time if you want. Just a light coating, nothing much is really need it even after the first pass the residual thickness is very good and yeah honestly i can just stop and i i will call it almost bbs without even any buffing any additional repetitions yeah now i'm trying to go with very light touch So I expect the alum to complain. Actually, my skin will complain, not the alum. And that audio feedback is grabbing those tiny parts that are just left.
I'm not sure if open comb like this is close to straight razor. I don't think so. I think it's a whole different game. So I admire Sean's ability. He has great skill. So if you're interested to see how how shaving with straight razor is done right, you should really check some, some of his videos. There's barely anything left, even under the nose. Fantastic. I'm gonna rinse the face. Time to check the album. <laughs> and as most of you may be surprised, there is barely anything. Just two spots over here because my skin was irritated by the long beard. And one light stinging over here. Yeah, I would say one out of ten in terms of feedback. Very close, efficient shave or aggressive. I'm not a big fan of the aggressive word because yeah, it it kind of like aligns with efficient. But as you saw based on the feedback that I got from the alum, yes, the razor is very efficient. But my skin and I have skin condition and sensitive skin is very very good it feels not irritated at all so yeah that's why i prefer the term efficiency not aggressiveness because aggressiveness uh, i personally relate it with something that is dangerous or something that will irritate you so yeah just consider that when you hear people discussing that that this this may be kind of like different for anybody right depending on what meaning you put behind the word great shave i needed this ah oh. That stubble was so annoying. <laughs> Matching splash, can say. That was generous. But I don't mind it. Because this is good stuff. Such a good scent. Oh. Very pleasant. My face feels great. That was great shave. Thank you, Sean, for the suggestion uh, in the comments in the, one of my previous videos. I hope that this was useful for you. I think that you will enjoy uh, either this one or other open comb razors. There is plenty for you to choose from. Uh, that's everything for today. Let me know in the comments if you like uh, this video. Have you tried open comb razors? How do you find them? Do you like them or not? Uh, do you have any suggestions for razor comparison as well? I take notes. I'm a bit slow because I don't have time to record more than one video per week. I may try every now and then to include one extra, but it's challenging with my schedule. So yeah, feel free to let me know in the comments. I take notes and I'll eventually get back to it. Uh, thanks for sticking until the end. I'll see you in the next video. And meanwhile, you stay safe.